Well, what kind of iPads are we looking for? I'm looking for a deal, man, if I'm getting so many, boss man. Yeah, I didn't say I'm not going to give you a deal. Now, how much can I get all these for, man? 16 of them. 3,500. 3,500, man. Hell no. Oh, no. 25 piece, my man. 25 what? $25. A piece, man. What's up, people? Welcome back and get ready for a Hardcore Pawn video full of bold customers on Hardcore Pawn. Let's hop into it. Number one, feet smell. A woman walks up to the window and asks to redeem her coat, probably because she pawned it here and now wants it returned. Let's examine her stunning new coat. Excuse me. Yes, no, ma'am. This is not how I bought my coat in. How did you bring it oh, in? Oh, no. It smell like roadkill, gunk, Bambi's grandmama, and everybody else. I bought my coat in smell like roses. And this smell like feet, booty. Oh, no. I don't want that. Oh, no. I'm sorry. I think I must have sneaked in, picked at my feet, and maybe urinated on it. Who the dumbass is that to do? Exactly none. So that's all that matters to you, my darling. I'll go, I'll go take care of that right Thank now. you, because you ran my blood pressure up in here. Smell it now. Tell me what it smells like now. Oh, Lord Jesus, you're about to make me fall off. She should be an actress for sure. One hell of an actress for that matter. The way she acted like she fainted. I mean, she should star in a Bollywood movie. What we're going to do, we're going to keep this in the yeah, back. Yeah, you when need you to do something When you decide that. that your no. nasal passages no. are open. That don't smell like my coat, OK? Thank you. This coat is just pathetic. And I'm going to blackball your bitch. What's the deal, honey? You've just damn almost lost your coat. You're probably acting pretty foolishly right now. And I have to admit, it irritates me a lot. Still, I'm relieved you're no longer here. Number two, platinum bracelet. Yes, you read that right. A woman walks in trying to sell a bracelet that she says is exclusive to her, distinct in every manner. So let's look into it to find out if it is or not. My boyfriend took me on an African safari. Oh, how fun. Was, I would yeah, love to go there. It was so much fun. It's especially made for me. This is blight platinum with onyx. Platinum? Mm -hmm. Let me see. How much are we looking to get today? Well, he paid about $4,000 for it. So I was looking for at least $3,500. It's a really cool bracelet. Thank you. Um, but it's not platinum. Oh, no. I'm scared now. Like, I'm full-on scared. What's funny about Hardcore Pawn is that they actually never beat around the bush and they tell it straight to your face. Scary. I mean, that you, you, you're never gonna see one like this ever again. I was told it's platinum, and I believe it's platinum. Can you just take another look? And you also said it was onyx? Like onyx. Onyx is a stone. So if it was onyx, I would see a stone in there. I see that it painted. Oh. I see real, real platinum. Platinum with a P. Well, what I see is fake. Ashley could take it no more, really. Awful. I can understand her perspective since, in all honesty, I think she has the mindset of a clown. For God's sake, act like a regular person. Here, you got? Yo, I'll yo. escort you out. Here, yo, what you okay. got? Who are you? I am tired of you. Keep walking. Keep walking. Girl, Keep walking. Girl, Keep walking. Girl, Keep walking. Girl, you don't tell me what to do. This is my real, black, black, honest, president. This woman really has courage to say that. Was I the only one who saw her intense fury at all of that nonsense? But A for ass? That is a rather creative statement. In any case, I'm relieved she's not here. Number 3. Foxy Lady This lady enters with the intention of making a nice profit on the coat she is sporting. But no, no, no. My sweetheart, it's not gonna work. Nevertheless, she entered quietly and left furious. How you doing? I'm good, how are you? I'm Shannon. Hi, Shannon. How much would you give me for this? How much you want? At least a thousand. It's very pretty. Thank you. The problem is that we don't go that kind of money on those because we can't sell them for that kind of money. So how much would you give me? I'll give you a hundred. It was a tremendous mistake now, Les. This woman's sassiness has the ability to kill us all. Therefore, the mistake you just made might cost you your life. This a good-ass mink coat! Ma'am? Okay, you got me up. Mm -mm. It's fox. This is a rabbit, a bird, whatever the I want it to be bird or rabbit, what the hell does she want it to be? Yes, my darling, in your fantasies, in your ombre photos. Give him a $100 bill. You better call security up in this bitch. Security? How you doing? You my security too? Here you go. Oh, y'all mother don't know who y'all with up in here. This mother mean coat. Fox. It's a mink, baby. You see a lot of strange things at American Jewelry. She genuinely fell victim to the trap. You know, she turned from being so poised and self-assured to shy and yelling and spreading nonsense. Number four, baseball cards. This woman enters and begins to divulge every delicious detail of her fucking life. Is she attempting to persuade Ashley to pay this ridiculous price? It won't work, in my opinion. I'm trying to get my baby daddy out of jail and I've been really trying to work things out with us. I love him dearly. I was his first phone call, you know, so that lets me know that he loves me. 
Huh? He called me. He ain't called no other chick. He called me. I'm happy to come for you. get him. You're true, I'm right? Is. That's my man. I'm just saying. <sighs> The identical Ashley, the same. I know you're just trying to be kind, but you're talking much too much. Did you honestly think Ashley was pressuring you to get into a relationship straight away? This bag is right. worth at least a good 4,000 by itself. This one's, this one's a good one. You want like 50 bucks? No, not 50 bucks. I want 1500 for these. I can't help you with that. I say it. I don't care what you said. Yes, Ashley. Put a stop to her right away. Connect with her as a bird. She's trying so hard, without actually trying, to get her message across. There's no denying that this woman is insane. Let's play some sports. 100. Right, Back up, you big man. Shoot. You want to outlet this, big man? No, no. Your turn. Go. Watch your eyes. Watch your eyes. Be careful. Watch your eyes. Let me get a hug. No, don't give me no damn hug. Oh, you need a hug. I don't Damn, huh? Get off of me. Good day, baby. I don't want no help from you. Sure. I don't want no help from you. Kiss my ass. <laughs> Whoa. That was the last thing I wanted to see. Better expressed as, I didn't need to see that. This woman just kind of loudly and furiously yelled. But for what purpose? Number five, big earrings. A woman appears to know what season she wants as she walks into the store with the goal of buying jewelry, namely hoop earrings. It irritates me. So let's see how picky she gets. Yeah, bigger. Bigger is better. Bigger than that? That's smaller. You have more down here? Those are even smaller. Do you like these? These are large? Okay, do you not know the definition of large? I said big. Bigger is better. Do you want them with large? I want them bigger. Bigger. Bigger is better. I intend. You seem to be living up to this philosophy because, well, you always aim high and you're just too large to be true. So please, just cut it out. Stupid and orange. Yeah, you've been in the tandem boot too long. Maybe that's why you can't comprehend what's going on here. Someone help me. Hello? Can somebody help me back here? Listen to me. Listen to me. I asked you for big yeah. ears. Oh, Ashley, shit. I have no idea why in the world you said that you will receive justice, because I am aware that it will sting you in the face. Good luck. Miss, miss, have a good day. Bye. Bye-bye. I hope you get fired. Lady, why is it so serious? Why do you want these big, huge, gaudy earrings? Stupid lady. Think about yourself. Bigger is better. Anyway, with your enormous plump ass standing on the counter and howling like a dog, how in the world can you even have the arrogance to call Ashley dumb and orange? Number six, expensive guys. A couple of guys entered the store with the intention of purchasing two TVs and two iPads. These two are far too costly to be present in the pawn store at all. With all due respect, Gold Family. Wow, well, what kind of iPads are we looking for? I'm looking for a deal, man, if I'm getting so many, boss man. Yeah, I didn't say I'm not gonna give you a deal. Now how much can I get all these for, man? 16 of them. 3,500. 3,500, man? Hell no. Hell no. 25 piece, my man. 25 what? 25 dollars. A piece, man. Did they really think they had all the money in the world when they slapped God knows how much one dollar on the counter? What is the estimated cost that they will incur for each item? Put that money in your pocket. No, nah, we straight. We want the iPads. You're not getting the iPads because they're not what you want to pay for them, so you're not going to get them. I just don't feel comfortable running the store all day without security. You know what? Y'all got to work the deal. We ain't leaving, man. That's what's happening. So if we're going to work the deal, or y'all going to make something happen? Oh my God, no. You will no longer be playing games with Leslie and Seth. Please consider carefully before allowing us to demonstrate our excessive kindness. My dude, stop talking so much. Now, you want these die pants? Pay the money or leave. Hey, f you, man. Billy, really? well, how about this? How about f you? Yeah, right. Have a nice day, sir. Here. Yeah, Don't forget your package. We off, man. Man. I'm telling you, it's crazy. Oh, man. Unreal. I'm relieved that Leslie and Seth were able to remove these two idiots on their own. And thank God they are no longer in office. As an aside, they sent their security guards home for the day. Number seven, violent girlfriend. Would a man be interested in purchasing a ring? And would he want to know the true cost? Not certain. But then he was taken aback by someone unexpectedly. You see how much it might be worth? Okay. 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 What the f are you doing? What are you talking about? You said you're coming in to get a receiver, a price on one. He wanted uh, an appraisal on this ring. Ashley, oh, you've just disappointed my partner. I know that this is your job, but I really hope that this bombshell doesn't have to fall on you. I know it would be too much to handle. I just wanted to know how much it was worth. That's all. You're a f liar. Why'd you take my f ring? What? 
What the hell is going on here? Nobody would genuinely act in such a way in the middle of a public place and not even wince. Being in a pawn shop, I've seen people fight. I've seen people get hit. I have never seen a girl soccer punch her husband. Look. Go. It goes on for the glory of God. However, I have to say that this surprises me greatly. But you went, girl, at least. That kind of thing usually happens to women. But in this case, it feels like a malicious gesture. Number eight, fake teeth. This woman thinks she owns the TV in the front, which is why she is so upset. Honey, let's start this party. It's clear that this is not yours. Why am I out here on the floor? It's supposed to be in the back. What brand is your TV? That right there. Can I Hit see it. Ticket? Yeah, see him. If it's in pawn, it's in the back. If it's for sale, it's in the front. Why is my out here on the floor? Why is it a different because brand? It's a different brand. Let me get this straight. She pulls out her teeth. It was gross. Oh, so what you tell me? That ain't my Right. right. A whole heck. God, these teeth just came into my life. I'm furious right now. Old hag after me. This is very repulsive. Right now, Mr. American Long and Jewelry. I shouldn't put that in my panty and walk out. Okay, why don't you go Why don't you TV? go in line over there and they'll take care of you. How does that? Okay, let me get back on. That ain't fake. That's real money. Wish the teeth were real. This woman was out of her mind. Go to the window. Give your pawn ticket. I'll be more than happy. Bring out your merchandise. The manner she'd inserted them was even more disgusting. That trash is what ultimately got to me. Whew, the woman is just downright repulsive. Thank you very much and have a blessed day. Where I go get my Here we go. Where did that come? Are you? All right. Pretty Tell Hook to go. take care of you. Boys, Hook, I'm on Hook right now. Hey, Hook, you go. That's your ass. Stop you playing. Outside. Okay, thank y'all very much. May the birds of paradise fly up your nose. And that's that. She truly let her imagination go wild on this one. Ima informs her that a wonderful place to get new teeth is the birds of paradise, given that you're here in need of some. Number 9. Singing job. A man comes in seeking a job, but he really isn't sure he wants to fill out an application. However, he abruptly starts acting in an unexpected way. Look into this. Okay, well we have a whole process of doing that. You have to fill out an application. I don't yeah. have time to fill out an application, Carrie. I mean, look at me. I'm stylish. I'm dressed you nicely. You do have good, good I yes, see I got taste. some furs over there. Y'all need me to sell a couple you of them? You sell those, but you gotta fill out an application. American jewelry alone. Pretty talented. Can I get a job I, today, I, today, today, today? Can I, I get a job? For the love of God, shut up. Oh my God, what the hell is wrong with you? Suddenly, he starts singing as if this is a singing job application. But I'm not shouting at you. Have, have you tried Jesus? I don't think I really have anything for you. What you walking up on me for, big man? Lord, you lay the hands? Lord told me to lay hands on somebody. Lay I don't hands, know who though. it's gonna no, be. No, get thee behind me, It's gonna be you, Karen. It ain't gonna be me. Come on, yeah, let's get on the body here, baby. All right, hit it one more time. I won't lie. Byron's trick was right on target. It was really astute of him to inform that moron that Jesus had instructed instructed him to touch him. He's gone forever. Try one more time, bro. You good. No. You almost there, bro. Carry. I work with every day. I know. Come on. Listen. From here, bro. From here. Hit it. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, God bless you. Have a great day. Amen. Hey, Amen, hey, brother. All right, now. Nah. Amen. Everyone was able to witness some vocals. Byron's voice is incredibly nice. Who am I kidding? This man is really talented, but he's far too shallow for a professional position. Number 10. Aspiring singer. A wannabe singer enters the store, plugs in an unfamiliar radio and microphone, and begins to bark like a horse. Hey, everybody, I'm Nikki J. Hey, y'all, I'm an aspiring singer. I'm trying to make it to the top. One day, one day. Why are you cutting my volume off? We can hear you. In addition, the only place you could work as a singer would be the zoo, which is a location I strongly doubt you'll succeed at since I see you getting attacked by a lot of different kinds of animals. Are you interested in purchasing it? How much? For you, 80 bucks. I wanna sing a song. Uh, You're gonna be something, alright. I ain't right. even gonna give you a shout out, no. Are you interested in buying this? No, I'm not. I need some money, honey. Good, show's over. Here's a tip. Stop singing. Is she genuinely anticipating a tip? Girl, you are in a real store, a company whose only goal is to sell stuff, and the whole operation is happening on grossly unsanitary private property. Say the voice, you'll need it. She has a nice car. Do you think she got that from singing? <laughs> no. I'm going to sing my song. No, 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 no. Pull off. Want to? Man. Come back here. You want to? 
fall to. This woman seems to be high on cocaine in my opinion. That someone would carry out such heinous deeds in public only to appear foolish and ugly is inexplicable. Number 11. Glamorous man. Meet the man who has a knack for whitening his ass and painting his nipples. In order to continue attending beauty school, he intended to pawn his fur coat. This is going to be one crazy and challenging adventure, so buckle up. I'm not, I, don't, I, don't, I don't even know. I'm not even looking. How you doing? Good, how are you? Yeah. How are you doing? How can I help you? Well, I'm looking to sell this box trim fur coat. Auntie left it to me. She passed away about a year ago. I'm trying to go through beauty school. Almost done. Need a little extra cash to pay it off. Did you go to class like this? Yeah. Yes, it seems obvious to me that he could get into a beauty school with ease. I'm talking about the makeup he sports. Great. Perfect, without a doubt. Horrible. I'm sorry, but this is a jokey because of the terrible makeup. Well, I, I, I like to do hair. Yeah. I think I do a good job. The wax, ass bleaching. Yup. Anal bleaching, I've heard of that. Yep. Of course you have. I've been around a little bit. I paint my own nipples. Just a little paint. I'm uncomfortable dealing with this guy. He's wearing a shower cap and he paints his nipples. If someone has painted their nipples and is wearing a shower helmet, you can be sure they are serious about their appearance. But he's probably going to start beauty school. 800. Yeah, no, 800 is definitely not gonna happen. It is a nice coat, but that's gonna be about 100 bucks. About 100 bucks? Yeah. Can't do it. Well, thanks for coming in and ruining my day. No, just have a good day, bud. Hey, man. Take these Appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, all right. Mother's gotta be proud. Oh yeah. Kai looks like his mom. I brought you into this world, and you're leaving it. With a shower hat and nipple paint, his mother must be asking herself. Nevertheless, naturally, there's no need to be concerned. Number 12. Two TVs. Seemingly out of nowhere, this woman approaches the glass and requests to get her two televisions. This is going to fall apart. Oh my god. I wish you all the best of luck. That's all. I need my stuff, like, now. We need him or the ticket or... What you need him for? He ain't even nowhere around. Is it his Boosie, neck? I'm gonna call you back. But I need my stuff. Well, you have to make a police report. I need my stuff, a police report. Do it like I call the police. With such an attitude, you honestly give off the impression that you are the person the police are looking for. Even if you don't appear like it, your refusal to give a report makes sense. Listen, don't be in my window. Bitch, what if I'm gonna have to get ratchet? You don't pound on my window. I just want to go with the f you can't. Oh, yes, I can. No, do you really believe that stuff did any good? I talk about, you might as well stick your tongue in it before Ashley cuts it since she won't be scared of your behind. Bye! See ya! No, 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 mommy, calm down. You're crazy! Yeah, I am crazy, and I'll show you crazy! I'm from France! See ya! See ya! We're not the police, but damn it, we're not your local psychologist neither. Who says? Leave your problems at the door, come in with your money, and you have a lovely day. She is seriously destroying the entire store. Was she really under the impression that she could even spank Ashley? Foolishly. Try it when you return. This woman is truly insane. What's up, people? Welcome back. Pink is not brown. Unless you're colorblind, it ain't your coat. First of all, I'm not swearing at you. It doesn't matter. I'm having hot flashes, too. Can how I long, get my coat? How long have you been going through can the change I, of life? Can life? I get my coat? and get ready for a hardcore pawn video full of heated arguments on hardcore pawn. Let's hop into it. Number one, pink coat. The woman enters shouting, having miraculously seen her own coat on display. Interestingly, the coat is pink, and she is well known in the neighborhood for wearing pink outfits that make everyone look good. Can I please get my coat? Y'all got it out here on the display. That's my coat. Okay. I need my coat. Everybody know in the hood I'll rock pink. Well, number one, it's a brown fur coat that you have. No, I didn't know. That's pink. We can all see it's pink, my love. But what we also can see is that on this ticket you have, it's nothing but a brown fur coat. So, unless you think we're blind, you should get out of here. Pink is not brown. Unless you're colorblind, it ain't your coat. I've been coming here too many years and I need my damn coat. Can long, I get my coat? How long have you been going can through the change of life? Can I get my coat? Give me my Less. Why are you staring at her? She clearly needs her stuff, so why are you waiting? Yes, to be very honest, I'm simply playing around with you. All I can tell is that everyone will be shocked by what is going to occur. You know, cane or no cane, I don't have to take abuse from this lady. There you go. Holy mackerel. Bring me the- I rock pink! I'm a pink bitch! Pink bitch! Everybody! <laughs> what is that? I'll see you on Monday. Please take heed, everyone. This is the pink bitch, because you'll need to know who she is when you see her in the hood. In any case, I'm relieved she's out since it was a really dumb move on her side to contact security. Number two, wrong pawn. A man next to her enters the room holding a little television, but it seems like he paid $60 for this TV and pawned her $500 one. My guy, 
wrong move. Who the f told you this TV? Come on. Excuse me. He pawned my $500 TV, and this is the TV he's bringing me. I don't want that. Sorry, I'm not following the story, so he pawned something? Okay, the story is as simple as this. Wait, wait, wait. Am I sensing some unnecessary attitude right now? I'm actually pissed right off the bat. I mean, we're just a couple of seconds in, and I'm already done with her BS. And now he bought this TV for okay. $60. Right, right, right. I want my TV back. Let me see your receipt. So you want to get it out of pawn? Yes. So do you have the money to get out of pawn? No. If you don't have the funds to remove it from Pawn, then what good is your visit? I believe she believed she could take her chance, create a commotion, and hope for the best. You well, have some issues you know with what? this guy. He just always messes up. Messes hey, up baby, all the time. You mess up all the time. You must have liked getting beat up, because this woman whooped his ass all the way in the parking lot. I'm not playing with you. Duck, die, do something, man. I love the smell of crazy in the morning. It's crazy, Seth. That is crazy. I believe this guy had become accustomed to her by now since she was not holding back in the slightest. She was still giving it her all in the parking lot. Number 3. Wild Animals When a woman entered disruptly, she dropped her TV. However, she chooses to place the burden for her nonsense elsewhere. Watch to see how Ashley responds to these two. Hey, 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 door. How did she break your TV? Because I told her to hold the door and I dropped it and it cracked. So it's her fault? So where is the TV broken? Um, you want to come take a look? See? It's cracked. Okay, so what do you want me to do about it? Um, I don't know. Is you the manager? Yes, yeah, so maybe you, you the wanna... manager, but you ain't acting like one. Is that how you repay Ashley for trying so desperately to assist you? Without a doubt, this foolish idiot will pay the price. She ought to say sorry. I don't know what this lady was all about, but how dare you come in my store and make a huge scene? In my store, I'm not that going is just you are. What the is you gonna do? Bitch, you gonna say that? Don't act stupid. Prior to the impending wild animal assault, our child Byron was beaten up outside. I mean, she ought to be covering the cost of her own TV, or Ashley is going to force her to pay for her own burial. Don't trip. Up, that. bitch, and fix your makeup. Uh, don't trip. Bitches, you gonna pay for my Get off our property now. Bitch, whoa. Hit yourself in the head. She kept calling Ashley a bitch without stopping, but that chick did not enjoy it when Ashley showed her what a bitch actually does. But she turned into the Hulk. Number four, fake Gucci. This lady is going to pawn off a phony handbag. Alternatively said, it's a phony Gucci, but her confidence tells you that it's worth a lot after all. Either trying to get a loan on it or you guys can buy it. Mm -hmm. Trying to sell it for maybe like 150. 50 bucks. Why is it $50? The certificate and everything is in there. And the bag costs actually way more than that. Well, if you can tell, it's actually stained. Okay. All through here. I'm trying to sell it for $150 or get a loan. $75 instead of the 50 For heaven's sake, why the hell is she not realizing that this trash can be pawned for a whopping $50? Listen to the facts only. Okay, but I'm not going to pay you for the amount that you think it's worth because it's stained. This is not one of the newer ones. This is not this season. I know about purses. Can I talk to somebody else? I'm going to talk to your pepperoni-looking ass. Can I get somebody My pepperoni-looking ass. Ask pepperoni. If that qualifies as roasting at all, that's a whole new way to do it. Ashley, nevertheless, is going to eject you from the store. Listen to me. Can I get somebody else to talk to? It don't even matter. I don't have to talk to you. And I don't have to talk to you either, so why don't you go home? Can I talk to the owner? I'm the owner. You're not, not the owner. The owner is the other man. You you must have. How you get here? You <laughs> your way to the top. You. Ashley, get a freak on her. Her attractive pepperoni should really know better. If not, I'll visit the business personally to impart knowledge to the person who surmounted all obstacles. Number five, purse owner. This woman enters the store and says she wants her purse returned immediately, saying it is one of the ones on display. Honey, hold your horses. She's telling me this is expired. That's my purse right there. That one right there is black one. So I want to know why it's out there. This is your purse. That's my purse right there. If you don't give me the purse, I'm going to climb over the counter and get it myself. Overcome the counter and do it on your own. If you don't get yourself together, you'll end up going outside but staying inside. That's not your purse. How do you know it's not my purse? Because that purse has been out there. Let me see it. Let me look at it. Can I look at it? If you want to buy it. I just want to look at it and make sure it's not mine. Okay, first of all, I'm, I'm not, not First of all, don't talk to me like I'm a and idiot. You. Give me my purse or I'm going to come over that counter and get it myself. What's it going to be? Okay. Oh my god. Sure, she wasn't thinking clearly when she did that, but our guy Byron will take her brain out of her ass and put it back where it belongs. Walk Get your up. hands off Walk me, yourself out. You know you just hit me with that pole, right? F you.
this woman was really a handful. I mean, every time she opened her blasted lips without any purpose, I felt exhausted. And discussing logic, act reasonable in God's sight. Number 6. Antique Necklace A man enters the room and faces less. In regards to his antique necklace, he hopes to obtain a good price. But with that guy's appearance, this whole charade isn't going to work. I'm trying to get a nice deal on my antique necklace. <laughs> Tell me what that means. It's been passed down from generation to generation to generation. Now it's mine, and I'm trying to put you in the game with this crystal antique rosary. So it's been in our family for a long time, man. So, how much can I get? He gave the speech with a great deal of emotion. Or have I only noticed that on my own? Not that I was, I think. But, well, let me recap. Please stop the nonsense. The rings ain't for sale today. If I don't want to buy it, I'd take it in pawn. Uh, how much would you pawn this for? I won't take that in pawn because we only take precious metal. So let's work something out, man. No, I can't take it. I'm sorry. On this one, he put him squarely in his place. And Les, you are visible to me, fooling the man into believing you can pawn it as well. There was hope for the poor guy. Tell me, brother. Tell me, brother. Tell him. It's antique, man. Nope, it's not antique, bro. I don't want to talk. Me and you. No deal. I'm gonna start running away out the door. Hold on. Look, hold on, man. Hold on. Look. What are y'all looking at? Give me the ring. I'll take the ring in, Fawn. Don't worry about it. Oh, I assure you, nobody is concerned about it at all. Just get the hell out of here, dude, and everything will work out well. So screw you, moron. Not what we want is some faux antique crap. Number seven, returns generator. Shouting as she walks in, but why? Why? It seems that she purchased a generator, but since she has that mindset, no assistance will be given. I took it home. It didn't work. I want my three hundred eighteen dollars back, or give me a new damn generator right now. Do you understand me? You look sweet if you ask me, baby. Is you a big baby? Yeah, she became horny very quickly. Every organ drooled over Byron as she saw him. Really? Who wouldn't? Like, all the females would. Really? Anyway. You remember that? Yeah, look at the receipt. There it is. That's not my handwriting. Yeah, that's your handwriting. That was you. That wasn't my signature on that receipt. I don't know what this lady's trying to pull, but it's not gonna fly with me. Stop period. Period. And let me... Don't even talk to me. Ask this ass he has it. Concocting falsehoods is one thing, though. However, calling a manager an asshole and accusing him of doing something he didn't do, the asshole is you. Come on. Come on, y'all. When customers come in ranting and raving, we have to get him out of the store as quickly as possible. If she wants to bring this item back another day, I'll be more than happy to take care of it. I adore how she entered, started a fight, shouted, made up a tale, blasted the management, and did everything that a creative person would do. Number eight, bowling balls. A confident girl entered carrying three bowling balls. But if she continues to be this loud, she won't be all that lucky. Now, how you doing, Clark? I'm doing good, how are you? I'm good. Oh, I'm good. I'm gonna be even better, baby. I got three bowling balls for you. They hot and ready. What do you need the money for? Well, I was gonna get some new equipment. I mean, my average one's 68, but it's slowly declining. Why? Because he's lost. He's some arsenal. And this is my thing. And I'm gonna come through, and when I let that bitch go, I boom. Whoop. Leslie will definitely whoop your ass. To prove to him that he doesn't care about anything, you were going to shatter the damned counter. I was actually interested in these bowling balls until she almost broke my counter. Give me $150 for my balls, dog, before I can get the hell out. Damn, I ain't... Dog, I ain't, I ain't giving even, you nothing for your balls. Why don't you stop talking so much <laughs> Take your balls and leave. Grasp every ball you own and walk away. Please, not just these ones, baby, because it appears like you are having a lot of fun conversing with Leslie. Not for long, though. She was talking a hundred miles an hour. Well, be all on some bullshit. Maybe on some bullshit. They don't want to do no business. Oh, shut the fuck up. Really? Suck my motherfucking bowling balls. That's what you do. Who dumbass? Mother. Who is my mother? You have an attitude that irritates everyone around you, goddammit. That explains why you only have these balls for sale. Number nine, gender bender. It appears that there is an issue with the ticket agents. On her ticket is the name of a dude written by a woman. Is anything broken? Or was she just making this up? I came up here earlier to pay on my loan. And my ticket this one. Y'all gave me a dude's ticket. I am dude's a ticket. A dude's ticket. What is the item that you have in pawn, man? Rolex. It's on that ticket. A mother Rolex. Whose name is Anna? Somebody by the name of Daryl. Who? Daryl. Who the is Daryl? How do I know? She has a pawn ticket with someone else's name on it. Maybe there was a computer glitch. I don't know. Emma say only one thing. Whatever actually transpired with this ticket, this woman is not deserving of any assistance. That's what what are you yelling about? about? We're because gonna take I, care I, of you. What the f What am I yelling about? What are you screaming about? I can hear you. Who the f are you anyway talking to me? 
I own this bitch! Indeed, you do less. No one will go into your place and act the way they are acting, so show them who's boss. Here, you take it out of here. No, I'm not going to go. When you come back, like a man, we'll change it. We'll be more than happy to fix the problem. Coming like a ranting, raving lunatic, we'll show you the front door. Bitches. See, you should not help them at all. I warned you. What the devil is wrong with these two bastards, really? God damn. Number 10, Lawnmower Pawn. A man is attempting to sell a lawnmower, but he has a certain price in mind that is nothing close to what makes sense. Just keep an eye on what's going to happen. What's up, man? I'm trying to get 150, dog. Yeah? What's hanging off the side? Don't worry about what's hanging off the side. What is that? It's a flashlight. That's a it flashlight? It ain't no flashlight, man. What is that? It's a car vacuum cleaner, dog. Oh. Why is it hooked up to your lawnmower? Man, f*** all that, dog. On the side, my boyfriend has a vehicle vacuum cleaner hanging. Undoubtedly, this lawnmower is the whole deal. Two out of one for everybody. Two in one. Yeah, not gonna happen for that piece. You mean it ain't gonna happen, dog? Can you hear? Man, dog, give me my 150 for this bitch. Or? I'm gonna blow this bitch up, dog. What the hell? After I say that, I'll blow your entire existence apart. How dare you intimidate everyone in this building because you aren't getting your wish. And tells me they're gonna blow this bitch up. When that happens, you are escorted out. Come on, John, man. Y'all also know. Boo, dog. Yeah, dog. We're not giving you. Do you understand English? Man, who is you? Man, you just gonna stand out and walk your ass right yeah, now. Yeah, go. 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 Oh, f I adore how he asserts that it is already his money. For such stuff, my man will be beaten mercilessly. Making fun of Seth? Thank heavens we didn't see him getting kicked in the behind. Number 11, Big Bears. A woman trying to sell some large musical bears. I'd say it's weird if you ask me. But with this one, how in the world are they going to make a deal? <laughs> What do you have? Bears. <laughs> what kind of bears? <laughs> U of M bears. I'm a huge U of M fan. There's 400,000 living alumni right now, and at least one of them is gonna want these things. From now on, I will definitely refer to Seth as a geek. Can you imagine wishing this for yourself only due to your attendance at the university they present? Not at all. So what's the least you'd take? Well, let's go to 500. Let's go to 300. What do you think of 350? 300. Not gonna budge. Triple centuries, they appear to be more valuable. But hold on, was Ashley's expression visible to anybody else? She appears eager to begin the bargain right away. So 300, three $100 bills right now. 350. 300, right now. Well, they're big boys. I don't wanna carry them around anymore. You got a deal? 300 deal. bucks? A fair one. I suppose. At least the nerd is satisfied and a retailer will make some money. Number 12, human hair. Entering the room, this lady tries to sell some human hair. First of all, she really wore it when she arrived. And second, she actually seemed to know what she was talking about. Chinese boy man? Bohemian. Oh, bohemian. Bohemian. Uh -huh. bohemian. And I Chinese pay $1,000 for it. It's already colored, and if you want to color it again, you can. Are the same as Beyonce? Yes, yes it is. I adore that I can actually believe her. I can, I promise. Especially considering that Beyonce consistently dons wigs, particularly those with bangs. In any case, do not discredit Queen Bee. I'm sorry. The health department won't let us sell used hair. Um, uh, by the way, once you wash it, it'll be all right, won't it? Not really. Did you ever tell me y'all wash all y'all merchandise before y'all put no, it up on No, but there? that's only, okay. that goes over and your... And it's DNA and them coats and stuff. Let me ask you a question. All the time, they when got was all the this up time? here, funky, funky, funky. It's unexpected because she raises some excellent issues. They're not washed, and there's filth, perspiration, smells, and DNA. I appreciate her intelligence. However, human hair? Y'all wipe down everything. We do, but I just can't think. Okay, you, you right? can wipe down the hair. I'm sorry, I wish I could help you, so come it's back. Come, come back on, when you have. Come back. I'm trying to do this right now. Why don't you escort her to the salon department? I need you. Is it a salon? Is it a salon? Yeah, it's a blow. He's gonna, he's gonna show it to you right there. He's gonna show it to you. Right over there. Come on, let's go. Let's go over there. Twerk it. You can twerk it all the way out. Everyone is watching her twerk all the way out. Did you note, too, that she had some very good lungs? Since I'm sure it hurts, she yells most of the time. Discover everything. Number one, online romance. Peter, a man, enters and tries to purchase some jewels. He has a number of watches, a number of rings, and several other items. We'll see whether he strikes it lucky today. Hi. Hi, how are you? Peter. Peter, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Uh, there's a reason I'm here today. My fiance is in Ukraine. 
As you might imagine, coming from Eastern Europe, it's quite expensive. So, are you originally from there? I was born and raised here. Given that he is here and she is there, I assume she went to Ukraine on business or for some other reason, but I'm not certain. Regardless, it's really kind of him to come see her. That guy is cool. And I was able to meet Lena there. Are you kidding me? Get a mail order bride from the Ukraine. I went to see her for the first time and we knew very quickly and we got engaged. And oh, so you've been with her since? Yeah, twice. You've so only been with your fiance twice? Ten days each time. I can't believe this guy was so open to tell me about his sketchy relationship. Well, um, never thought. After barely 20 days together, this guy genuinely made the decision to marry and live out the rest of his life with this person. It's frightful. You know what? I'll take five for the ring. I'll do 450. I think I'll pass. Split it with you. 475. You got a deal. You got a deal? Yeah. Thank you, Peter. Thanks, Ashley. I'm gonna go home and buy the ticket to bring Lena here to Detroit, and then I'll bring her down and introduce her to Ashley. Yes. I don't believe introducing her to Ashley will be a very good idea, especially since, to be honest, she refuses to give to Fs. You do you, boo, but be sure you do it somewhere else. Number 2. Drunk Guy This man walks in wanting to sell or pawn a ring. It's a freaking gigantic ring. It can fill the whole fist of a toddler. But this man seemed really weird from the get-go. I wonder why. This guy smelled like a brewery. Okay. How much did you want? I'd like 500 for it. Why? Why? Because I need it. Yeah, I, I, I get got you. two DUIs and I got some fines and I need it. Well, if it was gold, I'd give you more than 500, but it's not real. Ope, I really like his sense of self-importance, providing Leslie with some rather foolish responses. You just got it, and we know it's a ring. Oh, God. Problem is, I can't give it to you if you don't got it. I need $500 for I'm it. I'm sure please. you do. You gotta give me something for it. I can't give it to you. I'm give it to me anyway. Man, you can give me something for it. This guy was drunk. Yes, he was drunk. This dude really irritates me. I mean, really, why would you walk up to the shop intoxicated and attempt to sell your fake ass shit? However, was I the only one who perceived a threat? I ain't leaving here. Man, get away from me. screaming like a little child. He lucky my mom wasn't there. He probably would got his ass whooped. <laughs> yes, Joe. He is very fortunate. He is, in fact. He was hauled outside while on the ground, by the way. Right now, this individual truly has no control over his own mind. Thankfully, he is no longer there. Number three, the pimp. It looks like this guy has been in line for two hours. Let's just go with the flow. I'm not sure if I should believe him. I'm aware that he is going to cause trouble. He pawned a game system. He said we can give him $110 for it. You know, here's your ticket, just sign it. I ain't you need to sign. I'm not gonna worry about it. Sign it, yeah. I'm, not, I'm done talking to you. What did he tell you he was gonna give you? 400 out. $400? Yeah. My guy's in the front, don't mess up. If he doesn't sign that crap and close it quickly, this shit is going to explode out in his face as he still acts like he owns the stupid shop. Listen here, I'm a pimp. Go out front I'm a real pimp. I'll put you your on the your I got more women on the street out here hustling. The guy on the streets is Pimp D. His ladies are on the street. That's precisely where he'll be heading in a few minutes. Never threaten Ashley, either inside her store or out. How y'all gonna put me up out this month, man? You feel what I'm saying? I know you just doing your job, big dog, but I drive my BMW, man. I ain't no blue. If you was a pimp in the pie shop, well, maybe it's time to upgrade your bitches. Because they not bring you a whole lot of money. There you go, sir. Yeah, see, this is all this $400 game, sister. Thank you very much. All I asked for was three fifty. We appreciate $400, it. Thank man. You. Just see how infantile he is acting. Who is pimp? I see no prick at all. Anyway, this individual was truly cast aside and returned to his rightful place. And I'll make sure to welcome him back and eject him if he dares to return. Number four, pawning laptop. This woman walks in wanting to pawn her laptop to get her son into a technical high school. Honestly, bless her heart. That shit is really sweet and thoughtful. Let's see what happens. You head in for 100. But I need 150. I know, but I can't give you 150. Okay, but can you consider the fact that I've been patronizing this business since 97? Uh -huh. I really appreciate you. Being... No, you are not yes, appreciate yes, my business. Yes, I do. I cannot. I'm asking for help. You're telling me you can't help me, so evidently you don't appreciate. You don't Am I offering you zero? Do you want the 100? No, no I don't. Okay, then goodbye. <laughs> Ope, I noticed the expression. I noticed the look. Was it simply me who noticed it? Not in my opinion, because the expression was as stern as they come. Without a doubt, this chick is going to stir up some crap. This lady comes in with a laptop. She wanted over $150. You know, I upped the loan to $100, and she wasn't having it. You can walk out the store. I can, and but am will. I going to walk out? You will. Who's going to make who? I want to see somebody make me leave up out of this mother Are you a lady or are you a child? I don't give a what I am. What the hell are you with your wrinkled eyed ass?
No, she didn't. She did not just treat Ashley with such disdain, but she'd best not play that prank on us again. Ashley herself is going to boot her ass out of the store. And don't, don't oh. think that you won't, because all I gotta do is make a phone call. You know what? Wait. Get out. Don't touch me. Do not Get out. touch me. I've been patronizing this business since 97. You have an English degree, right? No, I don't. <laughs> y'all. Felix humiliated this woman in an instant. He essentially just gave her the gentlest, most innocent roasting there is. Anyway, her voice irritates me so much that I'm relieved she's no longer with us. Number 5. My Way This man walks in wanting to sell these old TVs or microwaves. I really have no idea what these are, but he gets really angry when he is told they might actually not even take them. Yeah, what's going on, man? What's going on, cuz? I was trying to tell your man, I'm get a couple dollars, you know what I'm saying? About 30, 40, you know? Yeah, I'm not interested. <laughs> Damn, y'all ain't trying to look out at all. And then wow. you got cuz. You right know here. it's outdated. You got pops standing behind me. What's up with that? Nothing. You're causing a scene. On that, on that bum ass. <laughs> Listen, mother. Don't be throwing the shit at me, you understand? This man became extremely irate for no apparent reason. They've made it pretty obvious that they're not interested. So why in the world are you kicking about, you know? Tell him bring my shit out. What up, though, cuz? I'm up here at this mother alone. Take your hands off my mother. I don't care how old I am, I'm never too old to beat your ass. American jury. Don't try to stare me down either, because y'all got to close. Just what did you say? Hey, mother trucker, really? You already make a lot of trouble in the store? I'll make sure to come down from above and give you a lesson if you continue doing this. Y'all ain't <laughs> Try to step up like they with some players. They ain't really in my ball game. I'm in for real. I'm up. This. This mother thought he was a badass. As you can see, I'm a badass. You really are a badass. Nobody storms into the shop and begins hurling objects and making threats at the ridiculous proprietor. All right, so you'll be treated like the beast that you are? Number six, golf clubs. A man comes in angrily confused because a worker would not want to actually take these golf clubs. So he went to the manager to see what he could do. Good luck, Les. But what's wrong with him? How much did you want for him? At least 150. Uh -huh. I can go 10 bucks. $10 for all these clubs? All of them. Dad, let me see a manager, man. Hello, hello. Let me see a manager. You're that don't make no sense. I'm a manager. You're not no manager, man. This is Joe the manager. Who, him? <laughs> out of here. So y'all playing games. I just want to see a manager. That's it. You're not going to give me no crackhead price. And here I was thinking, really, this man assumed Les was the manager. So he went to him to find out why these golf clubs weren't working. What a moron that man is. You're not going to play me like no crackhead. Follow me. Don't touch my golf clubs. Whatever. You gonna give me my money. I ain't going nowhere until I get my money. I want my 150, I know that much. Do you want to keep your 50%? I swear, at this point, you're truly digging your own damn grave. To begin with, this isn't even your money. Go out of the store now, please. Here, you, you, you me. give me my money. That I go. Okay. Don't put your hands on me. We figured you would. Look at how big he is, and look at the size of me. But you know what? At the end of the day, I ain't scared of nobody. What he did know is how to get thrown out of a pawn shop. Ah! Though he truly feels like a beat, he wishes he had the might of one. Come on. We all witnessed his intimidation, right? Was I the only one, or what? Number seven, phone call. This woman doesn't have her ticket, yet she proceeds right to the window believing she pawned her microphone. Furthermore, yet, there's another major issue we have. Look into this. Because I, I, you know, no problem. I will find you a too. minute. We give the customer a buy sheet or we give them a pawn sheet. It is not our responsibility once they leave the window. She didn't look at the piece of paper she had when she walked away, so she didn't know she sold it. That's her fault, not ours. She sold us the merchandise. Now she's back a few weeks later wanting her merchandise back. It doesn't work like that. How could she be so ignorant as to be unaware that she had sold it rather than pawned it? I realize that I'm often in awe of people, but this woman is the height of foolishness. Ma'am, 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 ma you have to leave. I'm not leaving. I'm leave. not leaving. You have to leave. Come with me. No, Please, ma'am, come with me. Nobody threatens me without a response. My response was, get off the premises. Ma'am, you need to I'm get off. I'm not getting up. Get off. No. This woman is about to learn a very hard lesson. She's actually threatening them now. Really, she answered a phone call that she thought would be helpful, but it would be her last. Nobody threatens me without a response. You gonna hand it Tell me what that means. You gonna see when he get up here. Just wait right here with Bring me. Bring him. Go I'm not going nowhere. I'm not going nowhere. No Bitch, move. 
I'll probably be mad too, you know what I'm saying? If I let just wait in the head now, ooh, I'm mad. <laughs> it seems that others have also noticed these eyelashes, don't they? It hurts for me and her eyes to simply look at this stuff. At least she moved on and is no longer dealing with such nonsense. Number eight, the bag. A man walks in almost immediately with the biggest bag I have ever seen. Oh, and by the way, it appears to be pointless. Big fella, can I help you? Yo, my man, let me talk to no, you. No, man. You're not coming in here with that bag. This man. is my bag, man. You do not bring this no, bag man. in the store, my man. If you're going to bring a bag in our store, we're going to inspect it. It's just our policy. Less. You're exactly right. Do whatever needs to be done, my guy. Because if you don't, this trash is going to explode in your face. Come on, man. Give me this bag. What do you think I'm doing? Give me that damn bag, man. Mother Give me that bag. Give me that bag. The next thing I know, this guy bolted like a son of a bitch. What do you think? I'm not going to unzip the bag and look inside? To be honest, he was hanging onto it by a thread. However, enough of this absurdity. Dude, just face him and quit hiding behind your words. Well, at least we will know now. Oh my god! What the hell? Holy sh There's a man in there! Whole heck, that was not what I had expected at all. And why, in the name of heaven, wasn't this man screaming? Is this place being pranked in any way? Number nine, invisible phone. A mom walks in wanting to buy her child a present. She's definitely looking for a valuable gift, but all of a sudden, she loses something. Anything catches your eye that you want me to pull out? I was kind of looking at some of these watches. Okay. Where the hell is my phone? Something wrong? Yeah, my phone. I, did you take my phone? Take your phone. There was never a phone on the showcase. <laughs> This woman looked lost, she behaved lost, and I'm not sure what she's thinking right now. Whoa, buddy, what in the world is happening? She is definitely going to make a stir. That's my damn phone. You said your I know you better back your ass up. Yo, my yo, y'all better get this late because I ain't got nothing. Please, yo, listen, listen, listen. These ladies need to finish their business outside. She genuinely got very angry at the other woman and anything else you could think of without any good cause. There was never a telephone. Quit beating up on that girl. Hey, what's your problem? Oh, oh my for God. sake. Yo, gangster years is over with, baby. Calm down. You ain't gonna need that cane. Go ahead, put hey, the cane down. Chill out. Man, don't hurt nobody. And watch how you use that cane. Shut the hell up. You got grandkids? Grand that. Have a nice day, sweetheart. She may suddenly become a true mobster. Therefore, if she has grandkids, they need to be protected at all costs. She needs assistance. Number 10, Olive Spitter. This woman enters with the intention of seeing what her watch can provide. The catch is this, though. Moreover, the lady is not truly womaning. Okay, well, what can you do? To be honest, mm -hmm. I'm really not interested in them. You see how it's faded in the back? Mm hmm I was scratched on the crystal. I mean, but what's the real point? So you're saying you can do nothing with the watch? It's just nothing that I can be able to help you with. Really, this woman doesn't comprehend anything, does she? Your watch isn't even functional, girl. The purpose of a watch is to show the time. What is the current value if you are unable to? I don't have any money to get back and forth home, so unless you're going to leave your job and take me home, then you need to do something with that. I'm no. not giving you anything. There's nothing what, you would do? What, what, what are those? All of them. I don't want any. Thank you. She starts spitting out olives in the middle of my showroom. Do I go to her house and start spitting my food on her floor? No, Seth, you don't, because you are polite, something she clearly lacks. Does she truly want Seth to take her home now? It's not his fault that you chose to get here penniless. I think you are. I know I'm not. I think you are. Well, thought wrong. Well, get it fixed, bitch, because it's real. Take it out of here right now. Get your banana shirt and have an ass off of me. Don't touch me. Are you going to sit my over here? Because I'll never be back up in this bitch. Promise? All you do is run your mouth. Promise me you'll never come back. Amazing. This woman ought to have been outside earlier. She really entered and caused herself extreme embarrassment by making a scene. She is the epitome of stupidity. Number 11, fake diamonds. This woman claims that her niece purchased her a set of earrings, but she wants her money back because there isn't a receipt. Now, as it is, who's money? So there's two problems here. The first problem, you don't have the receipt. If you had a receipt, you would have like this. Second of all, no cash. on the receipt, it says no cash refund. One more problem that's really key to this whole thing. Mm -hmm. These are fake. This woman's face is giving off a death look. This bitch is ready to get burned by her. For heaven's sake, either freaking walk out of the store or just friggin' stop talking and come to an agreement. Come on. I played this game before. I know this was a scam. Period. Where's your two options? I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. Sir, can you help me? Can you give me my money? Can you give me a different pair of earrings? Anything. No. Oh, wait. 
No. Your short ass no. gonna tell me. Are you angry because your coat's so tight? Hope. Oh. She believed Bobby J would save her, but she was undoubtedly mistaken in her assumptions. I've seen some very dumb folks, but this one tops them all. Our second option what? is you can get the receipt and then ain't no motherfucking receipt. receipt. It ain't can no receipt. Can you finish listening? No. Can no. It's time to leave. I'm not going nowhere. Little ass, baby, you need to go get fair right quick. Bobby J scared true. Maybe he, if he sit on the toilet, his legs swing. But leave the man alone. Mm. Good one, Joe. I mean, this woman is literally making fun of Bobby J for just existing. At this point, I can't help but question whether she's genuinely angry because her coat is too tight. Number 12. CPR Dummies. A woman walks in and attempts to push CPR Dummies. In case you don't know either, I'll try to guess that you practice CPR on Dummies, I think. So how am I supposed to even know if these are working? Because I am not going to put my mouth on each one of these Dummies. I'm not testing them. Have you ever done CPR? Yeah, <laughs> of course, he comes in to finish the job. When my boyfriend appeared out of nowhere, the craziest thing was tested on him. This is really, really terrifying. Did the chest go up? Yeah, uh -huh. the chest went up. He like keeps going. I didn't ask for him to do it 10 times. I asked him to do it once. His eyes were closed. I think those are his girlfriends. Oh. <laughs> Now I'm going a little faster than I should. There's, there's timing in between. We understand. Like, right, we, we just wanted to make sure that the chest went up and down. Indeed, he did find it really pleasing. Yes, Leslie, he really does think that's his girlfriend. My man, you really did show us how to do CPR and much more. The thing is, these are two years old. I think it's a fair deal. Okay. Thank you very much. Thanks, CPR kit, $100 buy. If she thinks we're going to sell these, she's a dummy. Well, the good thing, Rick don't have to worry about a date tonight. Wonderful, Les. Rick just knows he's spending the entire night on a date. Welcome back and get ready for a Hardcore Pawn video full of weirdest moments on Hardcore Pawn. Let's hop into it. Number one, online romance. Peter, a man, enters and tries to purchase some jewels. He has a number of watches, a number of rings, and several other items. We'll see whether he strikes it lucky today. Hi. Hi, how are you? Peter. Peter, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Uh, there's a reason I'm here today. My fiance is in the Ukraine. As you might imagine, coming from Eastern Europe, it's quite expensive, so... Are you originally from there? I was born and raised here. Given that he is here and she is there, I assume she went to Ukraine on business, or for some other reason, but I'm not certain. Regardless, it's really kind of him to come see her. That guy is cool. And I was able to meet Lena there. Are you kidding me? Get a mail-order bride from the Ukraine. I went to see her for the first time, and we knew very quickly, and we got engaged. And oh, so you've been with her since? Yeah, twice. You've only been with your fiance twice? Ten days each time. I can't believe this guy was so open to tell me about his sketchy relationship. Well, um, never thought. After barely 20 days together, this guy genuinely made the decision to marry and live out the rest of his life with this person. It's frightful. You know what? I'll take five for the ring. I'll do 450. I think I'll pass. Split it with you. 475. You got a deal. You got a deal? Yeah. Thank you, Peter. Thanks, Ashley. I'm gonna go home and buy the ticket to bring Lena here to Detroit. And then I'll bring her down and introduce her to Ashley. Yes. I don't believe introducing her to Ashley will be a very good idea, especially since, to be honest, she refuses to give to Fs. You do you, boo, but be sure you do it somewhere else. Number two, drunk guy. This man walks in wanting to sell or pawn a ring. It's a freaking gigantic ring. It can fill the whole fist of a toddler. But this man seemed really weird from the get-go. I wonder why. This guy smelled like a brewery. Okay, how much did you want? I'd like 500 for it. Why? Why? Because I need it. Yeah, I, I, I get got you. two DUIs and I got some fines and I need it. Well, if it was gold, I'd give you more than 500, but it's not real. Oh, I really like his sense of self-importance, providing Leslie with some rather foolish responses. You just got it, and we know it's a ring. Oh, God. Problem is, I can't give it to you if you don't got it. I need $500 for I'm it. I'm sure you do. You gotta give me something for it. I can't give it to you. I'm sorry. Give it to me anyway. Man, you can give me something for it. This guy was drunk. Yes, he was drunk. This dude really irritates me. I mean, really, why would you walk up to the shop intoxicated and attempt to sell your fake ass shit? However, was I the only one who perceived a threat? I ain't leaving here. Man, get away from me. He was screaming like a little child. 
lucky, lucky. My mom wasn't there. He probably would have got his ass whooped. <laughs> yes, Joe. He is very fortunate. He is, in fact. He was hauled outside while on the ground, by the way. Right now, this individual truly has no control over his own mind. Thankfully, he is no longer there. Number 3. The Pimp. It looks like this guy has been in line for two hours. Let's just go with the flow. I'm not sure if I should believe him. I'm aware that he is going to cause trouble. He pawned a game system. He said we can give him $110 for it. You know, here's your ticket, just sign it. I ain't gonna, sign. I'm not gonna worry about it. Sign it, yeah. I'm, not, I'm done talking to you. What did he tell you he was gonna give you? 400 out. 400? Yeah. My guys in the front, don't mess up. When we quote you a price, we quote you a price. Yeah. Sign that. And I'm not I'll saying give your money. If he doesn't sign that crap and close it quickly, this shit is going to explode out in his face as he still acts like he owns the stupid shop. Hold on, what you mean? You don't tell me okay with ten? It's one thing if my sister and I get into a disagreement, but when a customer comes in and threatens her, game over. Listen here, I'm a go pimp. Out I got, I'm back. a real pimp. Go I'm a real pimp. I'll put you on your back. I will put you on your back. You don't gotta walk the ball. Don't step up on your back. Get your you gonna talk, you gonna talk to me with some respect. I got more women on the street out here hustling. The guy on the streets is Pimp D. His ladies are on the street. That's precisely where he'll be heading in a few minutes. Never threaten Ashley, either inside her store or out. How y'all gonna put me up out this month, man? You feel what I'm saying? I know you just doing your job, big dog, but I drive my BMW, man. I ain't no blue. If you was a pimp in the pie shop, well, maybe it's time to upgrade your bitches. Because they're not bringing you a whole lot of money. There you go, sir. Yeah, see, this all this $400 game, sister. Thank you very much. All I asked for was 350 We appreciate $400, it. Thank you. man. Just see how infantile he is acting. Who is pimp? I see no prick at all. Anyway, this individual was truly cast aside and returned to his rightful place. And I'll make sure to welcome him back and eject him if he dares to return. Number four, pawning laptop. This woman walks in wanting to pawn her laptop to get her son into a technical high school. Honestly, bless her heart. That shit is really sweet and thoughtful. Let's see what happens. You head in for 100. But I need 150. I know, but I can't give you 150. Okay, but can you consider the fact that I've been patronizing this business since 97? Uh, I really appreciate you. Being, no, you are not yes, appreciate yes, my business. Yes, I do. I cannot. I'm asking for help. You're telling me you can't help me, so evidently you don't appreciate you. Don't Am I offering break. you zero? Do you want the 100? No, no I don't. Okay, then goodbye. I Ope, I noticed the expression. I noticed the look. Was it simply me who noticed it? Not in my opinion, because the expression was as stern as they come. Without a doubt, this chick is going to stir up some crap. This lady comes in with a laptop. She wanted over $150. You know, I upped the loan to $100, and she wasn't having it. You can walk out the store. I can, and but am will. I going to walk out? You will. Who's going to make who? I want to see somebody make me leave up out of this mother Are you a lady or are you a child? I don't give a what I am. What the hell are you with your wrinkled eyed ass? No, she didn't. She did not just treat Ashley with such disdain, but she'd best not play that prank on us again. Ashley herself is going to boot her ass out of the store. And don't, don't oh. think that you won't, because all I got to do is make a phone call. You know what? Wait. Get out. Don't touch me. Do not Get out. touch me. I've been patronizing this business since 97. You have an English degree, right? No, I don't. F*** y'all. Felix humiliated this woman in an instant. He essentially just gave her the gentlest, most innocent roasting there is. Anyway, her voice irritates me so much that I'm relieved she's no longer with us. Number 5. My Way This man walks in wanting to sell these old TVs or microwaves. I really have no idea what these are, but he gets really angry when he is told they might actually not even take them. Yeah, what's going on, man? What's going on, cuz? I was trying to tell your man, let me get a couple dollars, you know what I'm saying? About 30, 40, you know? Yeah, I'm not interested. <laughs> Damn, y'all ain't trying to look out at all, and then wow. you got cuz. You right know here. it's outdated. You got pops standing behind me. What's up with that? Nothing. You're causing a scene. On that, on that bum and <laughs> Listen, mother. Don't be throwing the at me. You understand? This man became extremely irate for no apparent reason. They've made it pretty obvious that they're not interested. So why in the world are you kicking about? You know? Hold up. Tell him bring my out. What up, though, cuz? I'm up here at this mother alone. Take your hands off my mother. I don't care how old I am, I'm never too old to beat your ass. American jury, don't try to stare me down either, cause y'all gotta close. Just what did you say? Hey, mother trucker, really? You already make a lot of trouble in the store? I'll make sure to come down from above and give you a lesson if you continue doing this. Y'all ain't <laughs> Try to step up like they were some players, they ain't really in my ball game, I'm in for real. I'm up, this. This mother thought he was a badass, as you can see, I'm a badass. You 
really are a badass. Nobody storms into the shop and begins hurling objects and making threats at the ridiculous proprietor. All right, so you'll be treated like the beast that you are? Number six, golf clubs. A man comes in angrily confused because a worker would not want to actually take these golf clubs. So he went to the manager to see what he could do. Good luck, Les. But what's wrong with him? How much did you want for him? At least 150. Uh -huh. I can go 10 bucks. $10 for all these clubs? All of them. Dad, let me see a manager, man. Hello, hello. Let me see a manager. You're that not, don't make no sense. I'm a manager. You're not no manager, man. This is Joe, the manager. Who, him? Get out of here. So y'all playing games. I just want to see a manager. That's it. You're not going to give me no crackhead price. And here I was thinking, really, this man assumed Les was the manager. So he went to him to find out why these golf clubs weren't working. What a moron that man is. You're not going to play me like no crackhead. Follow me. Don't touch my golf clubs. Whatever. You gonna give me my money. I ain't going nowhere until I get my money. I want my 150, I know that much. Do you want to keep your 50%? I swear, at this point, you're truly digging your own damn grave. To begin with, this isn't even your money. Go out of the store now, please. Here, you, 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 time give me my money. That I go. Okay. Don't put your hands on me. We figured you would. Look at how big he is, and look at the size of me. But you know what? At the end of the day, I ain't scared of nobody. What he did know is how to get thrown out of a pawn shop. Ah! Though he truly feels like a beat, he wishes he had the might of one. Come on. We all witnessed his intimidation, right? Was I the only one, or what? Number seven, phone call. This woman doesn't have her ticket, yet she proceeds right to the window believing she pawned her microphone. Furthermore, yet, there's another major issue we have. Look into this. Cause I, I you know, no problem. I will you find ID you a man. We give the customer a buy sheet or we give them a pawn sheet. It is not our responsibility once they leave the window. She didn't look at the piece of paper she had when she walked away, so she didn't know she sold it. That's her fault, not ours. She sold us some merchandise. Now she's back a few weeks later, wanting her merchandise back. It doesn't work like that. How could she be so ignorant as to be unaware that she had sold it rather than pawned it? I realize that I'm often in awe of people, but this woman is the height of foolishness. Do you oh, have Ma'am, 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 you have to leave. I'm not leave. leaving. I'm not leaving. You have to leave. Come with me. No, Please, ma'am, come with me. Nobody threatens me without a response. My response was, get off the premises. Ma'am, you need to I'm get off. I'm not getting up. Get up. This woman is about to learn a very hard lesson. She's actually threatening them now. Really, she answered a phone call that she thought would be helpful, but it would be her last. Nobody threatens me without a response. You gonna hand Tell me what that means. You gonna see when he get up here. Just wait right here with Bring him. me. Bring him. Go I'm not going nowhere. I'm not going nowhere. No Bitch, move. I'm probably mad too, you know what I'm saying? If I let just wait in her head now, ooh, I'm mad. <laughs> it seems that others have also noticed these eyelashes, don't they? It hurts for me and her eyes to simply look at this stuff. At least she moved on and is no longer dealing with such nonsense. Number eight, the bag. A man walks in almost immediately with the biggest bag I have ever seen. Oh, and by the way, it appears to be pointless. Big fella, can I help you? Yo, my man, let me talk to no, you. No, man. You're not coming here with that bag. This man. is my bag, man. You do not bring this no, bag man. to the store, my man. If you're going to bring a bag in our store, we're going to inspect it. It's just our policy. Less. You're exactly right. Do whatever needs to be done, my guy. Because if you don't, this trash is going to explode in your face. Come on, man. Give me this bag. Anything I'm doing. Give me that damn bag, man. Mother Give me that bag. Give me the bag. The next thing I know, this guy bolted like a son of a bitch. What do you think? I'm not gonna unzip the bag and look inside? To be honest, he was hanging onto it by a thread. However, enough of this absurdity. Dude, just face him and quit hiding behind your words. Well, at least we will know now. Oh my God! What the hell? Holy shit. There's a man in there! Whole heck, that was not what I had expected at all. And why, in the name of heaven, wasn't this man screaming? Is this place being pranked in any way? Number nine, invisible phone. A mom walks in wanting to buy her child a present. She's definitely looking for a valuable gift, but all of a sudden, she loses something. Anything catches your eye that you want me to pull out? I was kind of looking at some of these watches. Okay. Where the hell is my phone? Something wrong? Yeah, my phone. I, did you take my phone? Take your phone. There was never a phone on the showcase. <laughs> Look, I ain't crazy. Damn it, I just laid my phone down. This woman looked lost, she behaved lost, and I'm not sure what she's thinking right now. Whoa, buddy, what in the world is happening? She is definitely going to make a stir. That's my 
goddamn phone. Man, shit, your f- I know you better no, back no, your no, ass up. Yo, my f- yo, you better get this lady because I ain't got no, nothing. Please, yo, listen, this listen, crazy. Listen. These ladies need to finish their business outside. She genuinely got very angry at the other woman and anything else you could think of without any good cause. There was never a telephone. Quit beating up on that girl. And hey, what's your problem? Oh Call my for God. Yo, gangster years is over with, baby. Calm down. You ain't gonna need that cane. Go ahead, put hey, the cane no, down. Go. Chill out. Man, don't hurt Push nobody. And watch how you use that cane. Shut the hell up. You got grandkids. Grand that. Have a nice day, sweetheart. She may suddenly become a true mobster. Therefore, if she has grandkids, they need to be protected at all costs. She needs assistance. Number 10, Olive Spitter. This woman enters with the intention of seeing what her watch can provide. The catch is this, though. Moreover, the lady is not truly womaning. Okay, well, what can you do? To be honest, mm-hmm. I'm really not interested in them. You see how it's faded in the back? Mm-hmm. How it's scratched on the crystal? I mean, but what's the real point? So you're saying you can do nothing with the watch? It's just nothing that I'm gonna be able to help you with. Really, this woman doesn't comprehend anything, does she? Your watch isn't even functional, girl. The purpose of a watch is to show the time. What is the current value if you are unable to? I don't have any money to get back and forth home, so unless you're going to leave your job and take me home, then you need to do something with that. I'm nothing. not giving you anything. There's nothing what, you would do? What, what, what are those? All of them. Like, I don't want any. But you- she starts spitting out olives in the middle of my showroom. Do I go to her house and start spitting my food on her floor? No, Seth, you don't, because you are polite, something she clearly lacks. Does she truly want Seth to take her home now? It's not his fault that you chose to get here penniless. I think you are. I know I'm not. I think you are. Well, thought wrong. Well, get it fixed, bitch, because it's real. Take it out of here right now. Get your banana shirt half an ass off of me. Don't touch me. Are you going to sit my over here? Because I'll never be back up in this bitch. Promise? All you do is run your mouth. Promise me you'll never come back. Amazing. This woman ought to have been outside earlier. She really entered and caused herself extreme embarrassment by making a scene. She is the epitome of stupidity. Number 11, fake diamonds. This woman claims that her niece purchased her a set of earrings, but she wants her money back because there isn't a receipt. Now, as it is, who's money? So there's two problems here. The first problem, you don't have the receipt. If you had a receipt, it would like this. Second of all, no cash on the receipt, it says no cash refund. One more problem that's really key to this whole thing. Mm -hmm. These are fake. This woman's face is giving off a death look. This bitch is ready to get burned by her. For heaven's sake, either freaking walk out of the store or just friggin' stop talking and come to an agreement. Come on. I played this game before. I know this was a scam. Period. Where's your two options? I'm talking to you. I'm talking to him. I'm talking to you. Sir, can you help me? Can you give me my money? Can you give me a different pair of earrings? Anything. No. Oh, wait. No. Your short ass gonna tell me. Are you angry because your coat's so tight? Oh. She believed Bobby J would save her, but she was undoubtedly mistaken in her assumptions. I've seen some very dumb folks, but this one tops them all. Second option what? is you can get the receipt and then- Ain't no can mother you f- receipt. receipt! It ain't can no you receipt! Can you finish listening? No. Can no. It's time to leave. I'm not going nowhere. Little ass baby, he need to go get fair right quick. Bobby J, yeah, true. Maybe he, if he sit on the toilet, his legs swing. But leave the man alone. Good one, Joe. I mean, this woman is literally making fun of Bobby J for just existing. At this point, I can't help but question whether she's genuinely angry because her coat is too tight. Number 12, CPR dummies. A woman walks in and attempts to push CPR dummies. In case you don't know either, I'll try to guess that you practice CPR on dummies, I think. So how am I supposed to even know if these are working? Because I am not gonna put my mouth on each one of these dummies. I'm not testing them. Have you ever done CPR? Of course, he comes in to finish the job. When my boyfriend appeared out of nowhere, the craziest thing was tested on him. This is really, really terrifying. Did the chest go up? Yeah, uh-huh. the chest went up. He like keeps going. I didn't ask for him to do it 10 times. I asked him to do it once. His eyes were closed. I think those are his girlfriends. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Now I'm going a little faster than I should. There's, there's timing in between. We understand. Like, uh, we, we just wanted to make sure that the chest went up and down. Indeed, he did find it really pleasing. Yes, Leslie, he really does think that's his girlfriend. My man, you really did show us how to do CPR and much more. The thing is, these are two years old. I think it's a fair deal. Okay. Thank you very much. Thanks, CPR kit, $100 buy. If she thinks we're going to sell these, she's a dummy. Well, the good thing, Rick don't have to worry about a date tonight. Wonderful, Les. Rick just knows he's spending the entire night on a date. I'd like not to even consider what he might do on his date. 